And the prosecution at the OJ trial is hard at work trying to shift the spotlight from Mark Furman to the man they say is the killer. And they went to the videotapes, old broadcasts of OJ's, hoping to show he was wearing the gloves just like the killers. Eric Sean's at the courthouse. Rosanna, it is a bizarre twist in this unusual trial. Prosecutors continue before the defense is even done. And tonight, while the jurors ponder if the glove fits, everyone else here wonders, who is the defense mystery witness? The defense really never rests. But more specifically, in this case, we cannot rest at this point. The defense refuses to finish without Mark Furman. Desperate to put him back in front of the jury, they demanded immunity for the nation's most notorious former detective. But Judge Ito declined, forcing Johnny Cochran to appeal, delaying the end of his case for a few more days. There's a critical witness in this case who shall remain nameless at this point. And we think there will be startling evidence regarding before this week is out. It's over. It's over. There's just so much that they can do to mess around with who and fantasize about other people that have startling new evidence. Only the court is aware of how startling or new it might really be. I want to get some witnesses in front of the jury now. But worried about the exhausted jury, Ito ordered Prosecutor Marsha Clark to commence her rebuttal case. And she did so with the most vivid and dramatic display yet seen. New pictures of O.J. at work, wearing brown gloves in wet weather that looked remarkably like the infamous murder pair Simpson struggled to put on three months ago. What color are these gloves, sir? You have a brown? Photographer Bill Rankin took this photograph at a Cincinnati Bengals playoff game in 1991. But this one was snapped just six months before the murders where the New York Giants play in New Jersey by Deborah Gurdera. Can you tell us what color gloves are depicted in this photograph? Um, they look um, dark brown. There's no doubt in your mind that those gloves are black, is there? From what I can see, they, I, I believe them to be black. The parade of photographers presented the defendant as America remembered him. But clearly, O.J. did not seem pleased, even when the photograph showed black gloves. Mark Kruger said he came forward because the fit seemed small. I thought it didn't fit. Well, the defense awaits the decision from the appeals court on Furman, and we all wait to find out who the mystery witness is. We know who the next witness will be. Richard Rubin, the glove expert from New Jersey. He'll be back for a third time for prosecutors to explain why the gloves don't just look alike, but are the same. That's the latest from the trial tonight in Los Angeles. I'm Eric Sean, Fox News. Back to you, Rosanna. Okay, thank you, Eric. And viewers of OJ Today here on Fox 5 may have noticed the Dream Team was unanimous on their choice of a tie. Barry Sheck, Robert Blazier, Peter Neufeld, Effley Bailey, and Robert Kardashian were all wearing the same design. Bailey said, quote, it's Swahili for not guilty. OJ didn't go along.